Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! Do you ever just wonder if life's worth it? That what you do actually makes a difference? Huh? That's a heavy question, Captain. Why do you ask? I'm tired, Elfies. So very, very tired. Heh <laughs> What do you call a skeleton in boots? A uh, skeleton in boots. I mean, why would a skeleton need boots? They're dead, so... Uh... I knew this papyrus! Yes, Sundine! The I didn't know you had a cupboard helper. What cupboard helper? I don't have a cupboard helper. Eh? Well, I will in no way question this then. <laughs> Bruh. Dude. I'm back with a knife charges at Sans at full speed. Stop. Hey, if Sans is the dad, then who's the mom? Actually, Sans isn't my dad. Toria and Asper are my adoptive parents. Sans is part of the family, but it's not like that. He and the others are all family. Come on, Frisk. Sans would make a sensational dad. Hey. E.T. Sands, how would you react if I told you I'm your voice actor? You're my voice, huh? So if that's true, you have to say whatever I say. <clears throat> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to- I'm pretty sure that NMT Frisk is going to need to keep a first aid kit at hand at all times by now, because E.T. Frisk is a face scratch magnet. Yes, I am prepared for any other accidents. What about NMT? Who do they see as their mom and dad? I'd say I have two dads and one mom. Asper has taken the main position to represent themselves in political decisions until I turned 18. He travels a lot as a result. Sans and Papyrus moved in with us when Sans and Mom got together. Both Sans and Asper are great dads, and Mom, well, she's the best! NMT Kara throws chocolate from above. Kara, how come you're fused with an amalgamate? <coughs> oh jeez, you don't hold back, do you? Becoming Karagamate was part of his deal. A couple months after the monsters were free, one of the memory heads, Doubles, visited me. He talked about Frizz's failed genocide and every one of our failed attempts to save Azrael. He kept manipulating every word and action I made in our recess and claiming this was my punishment. In the end, he made me doubt everything I tried to do, saying it was my fault for my brother's death, that it was my fault for Friss killing everyone, that I was the true villain. I took every word he said and hated myself even more than I already did. If I could have died again, I would have. That's when he proposed the deal. The deal was to become a human anagame filled by determination. A being who was no longer human or monster. Powerful enough to form their own reset to turn back time. If we were able to find another human body, then we will possess them and become a human anagamate. Which is what happened. We were never able to create our own reset, which is why Memory has proposed to use Frisk's soul. But in order to obtain it, we had to reopen Frisk's worst memories and traumas through their own dreams. Memory had loved tormenting Frisk. I hated it. So now you know why. Can we move on now? Oh my god, NMT Sans, I guess you'll kill this ET Sans, poking this ET Sans with a stick. P.S. Sorry, my English is bad. Oops, sorry, my finger slipped. Hmm, it 
Is Alex still in Kara's body? Uh, hi guys, it's nice to meet you. Hey Alex, how are you doing in there? Bye, Alex. You gonna be okay, or... How does Alex feel about all this? It certainly isn't easy sharing a body with a sadistic scientist and the soul of a dead kid, but we make do. Suddenly, it's raining chocolate bars at Kara. Hmm? Ah! That's a lot of therapy right there. This is for making me say that stupid line! Chase's hands with a stick. Hey, is it my fault you guys can't take a joke? And what did you say you were- Eh, he'll walk it off. So, is Sans' jaw still fixed to his skull or not? I really want to know. More or less. Sans, how do you brush your teeth? Same as you, obviously. Uh, well, obviously. What the heck happened to Papyrus? E.T. Papyrus's whereabouts are still unknown. I have a question. So, for both Sansas, how exactly do you eat? You guys don't really open your mouths, and don't say magic either. You know, I've always wondered that too, and I lived around you for three years. Yeah, since you don't have guts and stuff, how does it work? Okay, okay. Why don't I just show you? I need to pick me up anyways. Wait, what the- Oops, guess I took a bite between panels. <gasps> but where does it all go? Okay, rude. Why won't you give me answers? Can't you just accept that we're walking pals of contradictions? NEVER! Well, you don't have to be such a grump about it. Clearly, you've never seen some of the fan art they make me online. Thank God. Sansa seemed kind of gloomy since Papyrus moved out. Don't you think? Are you sure you're okay with being alone? Uh, yeah. Of course I'm fine. I miss the big guy, but, you know, I'll live. Always do. I know! You should totally move in with us! Oh yeah? And who made you the landlord, huh? You gonna give me my own key and everything? No, but I am. And I believe I could arrange that. Aww. The kid was just joking. You don't have to- Nonsense, dear. I think that's a wonderful idea. <laughs> that's really sweet of you, Tori. And I'd really love that. But... I know you guys don't have room for me at your place. It's okay. Why can't you just sleep on the couch? Since when are you picky? You really need to work on your sales pitch, bud. Sans. I'm good, seriously. You don't have to worry about me. Sans. Uh... We could share a bed! What? This is the best idea you've ever had! <laughs> Mom? Can I, um, have a minute alone, please? Of course, child. I won't be far now. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't like sunsets. They always reminded me of how alone I was. Now, though, I get to watch the sunset together with you. We'll do lots of other things together, too. Uh... Oh, and maybe Alpheus can make a body just for you. First, I... I can't. I'm not staying. What? What are you saying? Of course you can stay. Why can't you? Frisk, before you fell, I felt so many different things. My soul was uneasy, angry, and in pain. I wanted it all to end. Everything. Everyone. It seemed... So pointless. Then you came along. Wake up. Go away. Stop. Wake up. Leave me alone. When I woke up, 
I was scared and confused. Hey, it's okay. Huh? You looked like you were having a bad dream. It's okay. I get them too. But you were nice to me. What's your name? Kara. Kara, huh? That's a pretty name. I'm Frisk. Hey, um, do you know a way out of here? Uh, yeah. And somehow, it made me feel better going on this journey with you. It made me really happy. I think... I think I can finally rest now. Thank you, Frisk. No, you can't. Don't go, Kara. If you go, who's gonna... Who's gonna watch the sunset with me? <laughs> oh, Frisk. Don't tell me you forgot all about your friends you made here, silly. Listen. You're not alone anymore. You'll be okay. I know it. Look, I don't have much time left. But, will you do me a favor? This... This was mine a long time ago. Could you take care of it for me? D don't forget me, okay? I won't. Promise. Uh, Kara. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Frisk. Howdy. You waited, huh? Ever since you died. What took you so long? I couldn't die. Excuses. I was wondering when you would come see me. I made you suffer, huh? I'm, I'm so sorry I did that. I hated humanity. I loved you. Mom. Dad. Can you forgive me? This demon child. I was never mad at you. Let's go. <laughs> yeah.